I'm Steph, I'm Harrison Greenoff's mum. He rides a big wheel 85. Harrison rides in England and in Europe when we can get across the border. So we do the MX Nationals and uh, the ONKs. We got into racing through dad. Um, we started on a PW50 when he was three and then progressed on to a KTM, which we bought from America. And then we did racing from six. And as soon as we could get to Holland and get over there and play in the sand, that's all we did. So we went racing in Holland for a number of reasons. Um, the tracks are much better. The industry itself supports motocross a lot more over there. So the organisation KNMV will encourage onboard help with KTM and things like that. The kids race from youth and the progression up into pro is supported a lot with the KNMV. The tracks are brutal, um, they learn a lot very quickly and they get to ride with hurlings, so it's their dream come true. So stand a week for us, um, I work. So during the mornings, I'm an accountant in practice. And then as soon as I finish work, it's home for a number of things. Either getting the bike ready to race. Paul Harrison has to have Moto Mum take him riding. So that can be three times a week. He has mum training trackside where he gets roasted, truly roasted by his mum. He has to pick his lines. We work on technique or speed. And then once we've done the riding, it's home, cleaning the bikes, doing pistons, changing brakes, whatever maintenance is needed and then loading up the camper van ready to come racing. Racing is hard work and very long weekends. They're always the best weekends when we do well and the worst weekends when we don't. <laughs> when it's wet and rainy and we can be jet washing for hours, that's not so much fun. So when we go um, to practice tracks with Harrison, we'll work through technique, uh, whether that be focusing on balls of feet, gripping well with our legs, having our arms in the right position, um, if we're at a hard pack track, making sure he's cornering nice and smooth. If you're in the sand, it's over the body position, over the rough stuff. So it just depends on what maybe I've noticed at a race weekend he's not doing so well or um, what he's got coming up, we'll try and train for that. And I have to be behind the camera and I have to catch at least one whip every time we go out. <laughs> I have not, and didn't know anything about motocross until Harrison got on a bike. So it's been a massive learning curve for me as his mum, watching him race and then also trying to do the mechanics um, learning the, the trade is hard work when you're out there, especially as the only mum on the start line. Um, but whenever Harrison's had training, I'm with him. So I can learn from the trainers to help Harrison progress through the sport. And um, Matt Harrison's dad teaches me how to use the tools. <laughs> um, so reason for Moto Mum is because dad's disabled. So dad will be out on the track looking at lines, watching how the um, suspension might need to be changed in and set up, which leaves me the fantastically great job of jet washing, changing tyres, chains, sprockets, whatever it is that needs to happen on the bike, as well as um, doing all mum stuff alongside. But it's a team effort, so we all do what we can when we can. I think one of the best things we did with Harrison was Master Kids, which was the one in France. So we went out and there was over 700 riders, 27 nations. He was tiny on his um, 50, I think it was. We'd have problems all weekend trying to get it to work. He went out there and he won, not only his group, but the gold. So he became this tiny little six-year-old holding his first ever podium with a trophy not knowing what to do. And he walked away um, the best Brit and yeah, he got the title. So that was pretty fantastic. The motocross itself brings a lot to Harrison. It teaches him not just on the bike, but it teaches him the importance of um, goals and structure. When we're at motocross for a weekend, he's out with his friends playing in fresh air. There's no electronics, there's no Xboxes. Um, he's really focusing on his sport. They're talking to different people. When we go to, um, we've been in Holland and France and America, California with him, he learns so much about the sport through different people. And it's, they're not on their bikes being naughty at the road, doing, doing donuts and being brought home by the police. They're learning about something important. And that, as much as it's an individual thing, they're out there supporting each other all the time. Because of the way that our structure in our family is, Harrison's got to concentrate on his education alongside his sport. So at the moment, he's going into GCSEs next year. He's got to focus on his education as well as trying to progress him as much as we can through the sport. But he's hoping to go to university unless he's a pro. So we're going to university. <laughs>